Hello, PvP community. This is Thor. You know, that guy that you come to correct, you either love him or you hate him. You know, that anti-bullying guy. If you're there being toxic and correct chap, he's the one, you know, putting you in your place. Of course, you don't like him. But that's all right. I'm going to help you out. This video here is going to be to help people with stealth, anti-stealth builds. Let, let's get into the, the, the major part of why I'm doing this video. If you are coming to Corret, if you're going into an arena, and you're saying, Oh my god, you run into Exodus, you're the devil, run something different. If you are concerned with Exodus, and you're a PvP player, either you're not very good, and you're a crybaby, and don't know how to build a ship, or you lack understanding of the game and you've been fooled. Exodus, 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 gotta love it. People think that's the end all be all to stealth. Let me show you something real quick. Exodus only provides an additional 10% of stealth of your overall ship. I'm going to demonstrate, watch the video. I just switched over to weapons power. Now, I'm going to go to my traits. Now, if you look, it says Exodus gives 533.9 stealth for 20 seconds. What's important about Exodus is that 50 bonus damage and that control. That stealth's not important. Now, I'm going to show you something. Watch that stealth go up. I just switch over to auxiliary. Oh my goodness, it's rising. Ain't that something? But that's only 541 stealth. This is where some of you idiots are getting this wrong. Look at Intelligence Team. 4,680 targeting stealth. So for all you idiots that are complaining about, oh, you're running X's, but well, I can't beat you. Well, I'll drop access and I'll still beat you and you can't target me because of Intel team. If you are running access for stealth, you're a moron. You run access for the bonus damage and control. Really that simple. Now, let's get into the meat and butter of things. All right. Right now, I got to respond to this. Give me one second. I apologize. <laughs> Alright, solve that. Now, but the B and Intel build is really very simple. For one, you need to understand the power of auxiliary, which I just showed you. Go from web power to auxiliary. Get your auxiliary numbers up. Up, 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 up. Use auxiliary batteries. Do whatever you got to get your auxiliary up. One good thing to use. Enhanced induction coils. You can get them from the Cleon recruit, or you can go to the shipyard and get it off one of them T1 ships. It's not that hard. Oh there, keeping the auxiliary up, right? Engine power up, right? Now, stations. Look at that. Emergency part auxiliary three. It gives you 100%. Stealth, but if you're within five kilometers, you have you will have 100% perception of the person. Don't confuse stealth with untargetability. See, stealth means you have enough stealth to where they can't see you at a distance. When you close that distance, you see untargetability means you you can see their name and everything, but you can't shoot them. That's what ETL does, evade target lock. So a lot of people get confused. So now your confusion has just been fixed. Stop coming to correct and complaining. If you come to correct and you are complaining and surprised you run into a stealth build, you're an idiot. Ever since uh, Cryptic decided to do an Intel buff last March of last year, that's what you're going to run into because it's the top build right now. Either 
watch my video and learn how to get on an even plane with it and fight back or just don't come to credit don't cry no one wants to hear that shit no one wants to hear it all right Lombada 2 unfortunately now I will tell you personally ET evade target lock is a crutch people are like the legion fleet leader Tom no lizard Jen Daryl of, of Warriors of Honor they have to have evade target lock but then they'll get in zone chat and insult you for having it but they have it like they, they think you're an idiot that you don't know they're using it it's a crutch because when you got to put evade target lock on a build like this, that means you don't have cannon scatter volley to give you that second hole prop to your heels of your colony consoles. But look, Intel team, 300 perception. So you get more perception there, right? Raising the auxiliary. Now, pay close attention. I'm gonna go back to weapons power. I'm gonna go to my specializations. Take a peeky peek. Right here it says currently plus 38 stealth while cloaked. Currently plus 77.8 perception. Let me show you the power of auxiliary. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, look at that. Now the perception just went up to 177.8. Folks, this isn't rocket science. It's reading. It's what you learn in first grade math. First grade reading. Read, add, one plus one, one times one. You know, it's, it's not complex. But you keep coming to correct complaining and crying because you can't read. I'm, people who are in the top 10% of PvP in this game are not going to change their build to suit you. You want to get on our level? Change your build to fight us. That's how it's going to work, whether you like it or not. Now, let's go through some consoles. I'll show you another universal console. Right here. Take your net drones. Gives 76 perception. Look at that. Ain't that crazy? Look, that is awesome. Now, if you if you go and you Google, you know, perception stealth, you'll see there's a formula. And if you get the Jim Adar deflector from the Lost Dominion arc, you see that 2.5% of the starship stealth detection, you know, that can add almost up to a thousand, you know, perception. And then you got more perception. Now, don't get confused. I'm explaining this to you. This is still wrong where it says doubles the benefit of step detection. That is wrong. Tool tip is still wrong. When you when you look it up, it has been corrected on, online. They just have not fixed the verbiage here in, in the tool tip. It does not double it. You just gain an extra hundred. It, it's pretty much it. It does not double it. But it's very useful. And this right here is just a basic PvP build. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. Now, you, you colony consoles, very important. Get your damage, get your hull heals, you need proc them. This tactical energy weapon, you energy type. Proc energy weapons, you get it. When a lot of these people stop using the crutch of ETL, and we have multiple procs, you know, to make this a little better. But you show up to correct using the Spire console, you're going to up and spawn, and you're going to be confused. And then you're going to get in zone chat and get toxic, and then me and a bunch of other people will come to spawn and just keep popping you over and over because you've been an idiot and been toxic. Or you just watch this video and learn how to not be an idiot. I mean, I've had the same conversation 30 times in two weeks. PvP right now, the top build is stealth builds. Hell, look at the United States military. What is the, the most elite fighting force of the Marine uh, the Marine Corps use? 
a stealth fighter, right? Stealth is top of the line even in the real world. You don't like stealth, stop playing the game, don't do PvP, stick to PvE. You want to be a PvP? Build stealth. Stealth combat stealth. I mean, and these are the little simple tools. Look at Lombada. This one gives 500 perception. Then it may, it takes your enemy's perception 350. That's basically adding 350 stealth to you because they're losing that perception. This ain't complicated, folks. Stop coming out here crying. Because all we're going to do is make fun of you and put you in a spawn and keep killing you. You got videos like this. And, and, and understand, the reason most of the top armadas hate me and want to start war because I do videos like this and I tell y'all the secrets. So don't come out here running your mouth to Thor because Thor's going to mess you up when you do because he's going out of his way to help you. How about come out there and say, hey, thank you, Thor, for these videos even though you're still popping me and be this human being. Love you. Hope to see you at Korea.